our bike. Here we are back at the Cabin Loop Trail. We came back for redemption. We got warmer weather this time, so we should be good to go. There's the first cabin, but you've already seen it, so we're gonna skip that. Keep going. Found some really little fish, but they're too small for me to catch. Had a little creek mishap. Dogs called Whitney. She knocked into me and then I dunked a foot, so. I changed socks. So I got dry boots now. While we're stopped, I might try and get a, uh, a little fish out of the creek. I keep seeing some little ones, so I'm gonna use a size 12 hook and a little piece of pink plastic worm, see if that works. Where's Casey way out there trying to catch a fish? Where's Casey? I think he caught a fish. Fish! <laughs> pretty happy about that. Found a little uh, green sunfish. It's a pretty nice one. It's cute. It's a good one. It looks pretty, pretty fat. I think it's pregnant. Nice. Oh. Put it back. <clears throat> Waiting patiently for Casey. Check it out. I don't know what this species is, but it's a second little species of fish. Stopped for a little gummy bear break. Want gummy bears? You like gummies? I think we have a bit of a dilemma. We need to be over there. What are we gonna do? Jump. <laughs> well, there's your problem. You got a bit of a clog. Okay, I saw this giant pipe in this little pool right here. Thought it looked pretty fishy. So I came in for a closer look and there might be a little trout in there. Well, couldn't get that fish. It was a little rainbow trout. We filled up with water from the creek and it's about 4.30, so we're gonna go find a camping spot, have some dinner. You hungry? Maybe. Cabin loop trail, pinch it cabin. Pinocchio cabin. We made it. Set up camp, day one complete. We did 10.6 miles. We got our blanket, uh, tent, backpacks are over there. This is uh, luxurious camping. We got some whiskey and coke and we got a little speaker, so it's gonna be a good night. We got fire, baby. Just hanging out, waiting for our dinner to cook. One big happy family. Right. <laughs> Ready for day two, we survived day one. Hopefully we make it without getting attacked by a bear today. That is a bear right there. We knew they were out here, but we didn't think we'd actually see one. We went off the trail a little bit to take a wider path around it, but I think we'll be all right. We may have taken a little detour today. We went about two miles in the wrong direction, but this right here, cabin loop trail, means we're back on it. Found our way. Come on, boys. Zeus is disguising himself as a brown bear. Here's Whitney having, yeah. having some breakfast. Found this little stream here. So we're gonna fill up with water and I might chuck a little lure over there, see if I can get some fish. Check it out, got a wild rainbow out of this little creek here. This is the biggest one I saw. Casey's he's got another fish. Let's see what he's got here. I'm pretty sure this one's bigger. It's got something in its belly there. Here it goes. Don't get him, Paul! Oh. We found these crazy beasts during our hike. 
This one might be a cut bow. Look at the sides. Not the same one? No, different. There are, there's a bunch of this size. They're all stacked up underneath rocks. I don't know about you, but this looks like where a bear would hibernate. Come on, Paul. Turkey lunch. Whitney and I realized we hadn't actually backpacked in maybe about a year and a half. And we decided to do a three day trip for our first outing back and we're feeling a little beat up at the halfway point on our trip what do you think a little beat up <laughs> we didn't do any practice hikes we we just rode our bikes and thought we'd be in good good enough shape oh we'll make it all right <laughs> <laughs> just might hurt a little bit not feeling sore at all Ugh, here we go only thing i want to know is do you guys see that bald spot that i do Right? There! <laughs> and see, we did a little outfit change here. I gave Whitney the long sleeve shirt and I took this one to guard my neck. Looking fresh. A little sunnier than we planned. A mini cabin. I think it's seen better days though. All right, we just filled up all the way with water. Packs are real heavy from that creek right there. Everyone's feeling pretty worn out, even the dogs. So next camping spot we find, we're taking it. Here we are for night two camping, found spot on top of a hill. Got Whitney and Apollo over here with the gear, hung our bear bag over there, and uh, Zeus is ready for bed. We got fire, baby. Need that to boil, then we got some hot food. I forgot to say this today, but we did 12.9 miles. A lot of miles. 10.9, we're in the right direction. Welcome back to day three. We heard a lot of howling last night, right after sunset, right before sunrise, and then right after. When he thinks it's wolves, I think it might be just coyotes. But uh, camp is almost packed up, ready to hit the trail for one more day. That, I believe, is the spinal cord to a large animal. Some predators out here. We finished the trail bit of the loop. We're just on this road for the next four miles back to the starting point. Not that exciting, but there are supposed to be some nice views of the Mogollon Rim. This was the view they were talking about. Here we are back where we started, just finished the cabin loop trail. We did 10.2 miles today and about 30 miles over three days. So the question is, would you do it again? Of course. <laughs> All right, Pete.